So my name is Cheryl Morton, I'm a former WOLA board member, and I collaborated for many years with WOLA on the Hill um, while I was working for Church World Service and with the Rosalie. And WOLA was um, for so many years and continues to be the leading edge in how the issues um, that are affecting the lives of people in Latin America come to the attention and the action of policymakers and politicians in Washington. But I think what's one of the things that was most important was, um, as others belatedly recognized the importance of bringing the actual voice of the people in Latin America to speak their own truth and making space and opportunity for that to happen in Congress um, and not to displace them. Ola was really the pioneer in this area and uh, from the very beginning understood that their role in Washington was to make that space and to create the opportunity with the politicians in Washington for the people of Latin America to bring their own lived experience um, to the policy process so that it could inform and help to shape the, the deliberations and processes. Um, and it's a lesson that has taken others some time to learn. Um, but it's also the thing that has given WOLA some of its greatest credibility and political capital in Washington over these many decades. It's that understanding of their role as being the amplifiers and not the voice itself, 